Uh, this is it. Trial time. The last day of the trial. And we <coughs> have, we've got two barbecue defense attorneys. One barbecue? Of them. <coughs> and, uh, this is it. Oh. Judgment day. <laughs> Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Hopefully, my party because of ah! that. What the fuck? See? W what's you. the big idea? Oh, shock uh, me like Maya. that. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Ah, Maya's developed electric mm. powers. She's That's right, she, she's she become electro. Yeah. I only touched your shoulder. Yeah, and it hurt. Then what? Then what's that uh, white hand <coughs> on your shoulder? I guess the shock hasn't worn off on my run in with the stun gun yesterday. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Alright. Hey, hey, give me yeah. something. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. Use your electro powers to electrocute the judge so he can't deliver his verdict. Yes. <laughs> They'll just get a replacement. <laughs> oh. Edgeworth is looking glum as always. Of course. Hi, Edgeworth. Cock a smile. I hope Long Karma doesn't push him too hard. You did it, Edgeworth, did you? Come fast! He's so the Whoa! Bad what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to what? kill it? You trying to give Edgeworth a death penalty in advance? Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, the typical British type of apology. What was that from again? South Park. I just thought I'd cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya? Maybe you should wear gloves. Maybe you should go outside and discharge. <laughs> how, this, how, do you, how do I even do that, Nick? Try and figure out a way. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. <laughs> That's you, Tio. Oh, yeah, pal. Too late. Yeah. What's going to that girl? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Detective Gumshoe. Morning, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How did it go? Oh, it's good. Oh, sorry. Fucking lines. Have no fear. As promised, I've captured our runaway caretaker. Whew. Awesome. I told you it was the parrot. Ah, sir. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Game. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You. you must be tired. I'm just in overdose of fucking coffee. <laughs> Actually, after that shock I got the way in, I feel pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Yogi says he's forgotten Hello. his own name. Hey, Hello, just Shiroi. in time, right. Shiroi. But that has to be a lie. Basically, Shiroi, we're about to make some shocking discoveries. Yes. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? Uh, Dwebs, you go to bad joke jail. But the boy does remember, it's and I'm going to prove it. Well, and now yes, you're sentenced. Sorry, well, you you're going to have to do the rest of this part in your bad joke, Joe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if you guys make it your immediately oh, gay... Hey, Whips, as your own character would say, tough shit, Whips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Ugh, <laughs> you're so stubborn. The prosecution is ready. My oh. god, he actually oh, did it! I, I take that back. Mm. Jesus. Uh, uh, right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. That means the most amount of drama is due to happen. Yes. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. And the, and the defense as well. Understood. He's because being polite. Because apparently the defense doesn't exist. <laughs> Too <laughs> long. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. <laughs> Aside from the fact that this is the one time he's actually playing by the rules. 
very well, Mr. Mongala. Your opening statement. Right. Thanks to the Gumshoe's efforts, the board rental shop caretaker has been arrested. He's even giving Gumshoe a compliment. Yeah. I thought he was going to say despite his efforts. No. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. Yes. Yes, I did. <coughs> However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. Why would he confirm it? Exactly. Yeah, why would anyone confirm that they killed someone? Or even plotted to kill someone? Well, well excuse me. Down. Well, excuse me for having a little faith in humanity. Fine, fine. Very well. Fine, we'll do it fair and square. Let's break the witness into the courtroom. Okay, Tio, you're up. Oh, they actually found him. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He did a runner. He lives in a boat rental shop on the lake, from where he witnessed the accident. He, hey, 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 he said it was an accident. <laughs> Gotta confirm. <laughs> so it's like Hot Fuzz now? Witness! Witness, witness, witness! Yeah, that back to you, Richard. Why did you run away yesterday? It's time for your medicine. Objection! The witness was not running away, as you will now testify. Oh, this is good. Uh, I see. Very well. Please begin to your testimony. Will do. Uh, is he? Are he? Gonna... Wake up! Uh, that's, uh, oh. that's, that's, that's... <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Uh, well done, Judge. Thank you. Um, I'm really sorry about leaving yesterday like this, but, you know, I wasn't running away or nothing. Uh -huh. I have, um, I went to buy some food, probably, you see. I really got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Um, I mean, I need one of those warrior things, right? I don't go on. Ian, baby, that bastard deserved to go. So, let's do on yesterday standards is man. Can I go home now? Uh. Hmm, very well. <clears throat> let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? Gentlemen, start your objections! He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi and I'm gonna prove it. No, he's Yanni Yugi. No, Yami Yugi, <laughs> not, not Yanni Yugi. No, no, no. Yanni Yugi is Yami Yugi's cousin. <coughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe. Cross Plot twist: over. This is his real grandfather. Yeah. Hold <laughs> it! I'd call what you did running away and not just leaving. You heard Larry's testimony and realized you were in danger. Objection! <laughs> No, Mr. Wright, there's no need to rush to conclusions. Let the man speak. As I said, the witness was not running away. Listen to the testimony like a good little lawyer. I'm listening, but all I hear are lies. And he sure seems relaxed. In fact, I... they both do. Von Karma and Yanni Yogi. Well, he is asleep. The only way he could be more relaxed if he was dead. You know, I swear it. They do actually get Dan Aykroyd to play on Yogi in a Western live-action Lace Attorney movie. That would be deliciously uncanny. Now about this food. Uh, oh, he's a bit of a gourmet, you see. He only eats his high-quality bird pies from France. Yes. <laughs> he only has it in a big pet shop downtown. That's a pretty fancy Paris. So, but you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker shack? Hey, that rhymes. Uh, uh well... <coughs> I'm kind of going off, see? <laughs> Objection! The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. No shit, Will Karma. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's going to believe that. Hmm. 
I see, so he was lost. <laughs> Please, your honor, come to your senses. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, LOL. Okay. Sorry, uh, uh, Never mind, sorry, Phoenix. There. Hold it! I'm you've, Phoenix, yay! You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, uh seems like it. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. And how could lost you know you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Wait, wait, if he lost his memory, how can he remember that he lost his memory? <laughs> uh, <laughs> or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? Aha! Well, it was said earlier on that he can remember things in the past few years, but not before that, and the DL6 What's incident happening? took place 15 years ago. Yeah. No, wait, this is just to fight quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Proof is in red letters, which means it's important. How am I supposed to prove what's going and on in that old cottage? It's very head? likely that you can prove it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. So even one can read my mind. Great. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> You know, you know, you know, you have no motive. You had a grudge against Sedgwick yeah. from the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Abduction. Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. Why am I, I have connecting? To prove he's lying about his memory. Go on, Woods. Why am I connecting? Okay, I've gone from connecting stuff to the Matrix to connecting to stuff about Mad Max. <laughs> mm. Also, uh, also, uh. Okay, oh. now here it comes. Can I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes, yes, Your Honor. You've been saying the same thing now over and over. And yet I still <laughs> sound more sane than the Wachowski. You've been calling the witnesses' memory of the past or lack thereof into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? I said current case. Of course, Your Honor. Well, prove it then. The witness has said he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Huh. Both of these statements are lies. Lies. Order! Order! Mr. White, there is there is a serious problem with your claim. Yeah, I get to object. Or oh, are you saying? Are you saying you know who this witness is? Uh, of course, Your Make Honor. Up. Well. Ha 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 ha! Now this is interesting. Man for one karma is a Santa Claus. I would like to know myself. So who is he? Don't play dumb von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. Uh, Gregory, Gregory Edgeworth. Robert Hammond. <laughs> His name is Yana Yogi, a former court bailer. My badge says that oh. he is. Yogi? That name seems familiar. Yes, Your Honor, it was a cartoon in the 1960s by Anna Barbera. Oh. 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 He was your old drinking buddy. Yana Yogi, from the TL6 incident. I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. I I actually, the the judge. I, actually, actually, wasn't he the judge on that case? That we have be. no idea if he was the what judge for that. Mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Objection! <laughs> Jump into conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Johnny Yogi Fast. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? We're going in circles. We've been, we've been saying is back into Phoenix and where's the proof? This is a court of law. As you may recall, you need proof. Now I'm going to repeat once more that the witness you has lost his memory. Now he's going to get it is false. This is it. But remember, Von Karma's trying to stop us from proceeding. I, have oh, to I do remember this what I was going to say. Oh, here it comes. Say. Yes. Oh, you going to say it? Okay. Uh, okay. I got it, Jova. Uh, his hair, his spiky hair. Yeah. Those are antennas. 
that's and they transmit his thoughts to everybody. That's why everybody can read his thoughts. <laughs> Maybe. Anywho, Your Honor. What? Please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on the file for Yana Yogi 15 years ago. I see. That makes sense. Oh, for fuck's sake. Huh? What now, Von Karma? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Are you gonna start singing too? Don't tempt Maybe. him. Maybe. <laughs> the witness has no fingerprints. What? Uh, what? what? No fingerprints? Yes, what? he's an alien, apparently. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's, uh, you see, for for, for caretaker, we're a chemical plant, oh, you know. Oh, of course. The, 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 the super ear creation thing. Of course. Burn my something. fingers working with the stop, you know. Let me I guess. You the, burn them the, in the purple uh, liquid. How could you remember that, sir? You see what happened, guys? How do you wait, wait, wait? How do you remember that if you lost your memory? He has a very specific memory loss. You burned your fingertips what, off selective. to hide your past. Uh, yeah. no, uh, uh, you know what happened, guys? He, uh, in the chemical plant, he touched the purple water, and therefore, yeah, his oh, fingerprints were. Has the fingerprints? So I now, not be able to prove it. Yes. So now that is superpowers of not uh, having. Unless we could take a hair sample. No. Uh, wait, 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 hold on, here it comes. Well, well, what will you do, Mr. Uh, uh, I have no ideas. I need something crazy. Mm. Crazy? That's my I'm voice. waiting! It seems that the case has been decided, no. No! I know what happened. I know everything. Mr. What White. I don't know is the way to prove it. Mr. Wright, can I help? What is it, Edgy? No, 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 I'm, I'm late. Oh, no. Who are you? You don't exist yet! Uh... <laughs> uh run away! There has to You've be created. another way. What have we... What, have we, what are you doing, Dwebs? You've created a time paradox. <laughs> there is no one who can testify to who this witness is. No one! Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't oh. even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. That's a lot of dedication. What do I yeah, do? and a lot of pain. It's toe prints, then. Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief. What? Yeah, 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 very funny. You're a sore you winner. Actually, Von Karma, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Wait a second. Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? Of course, it Ladies makes total sense. Uh, Ladies Phoenix, and gentlemen, Phoenix what are you officially thinking? gone. Uh, Phoenix has officially gone bonkers. Well, <laughs> uh, actually, guys, no, no, I know, I know, Java. I know, I know, Java, I, know I know, I know. The I know, very I was... fact that he's considering this means he's bonkers. Well, <laughs> it's sort of his Mr. last resort. On his proposal. Exactly, yeah, really Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot! And yes, so well, this is it! <laughs> what? What is he, crazy? Oh, order! Order! Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Volcana? Did you even ask? <laughs> the I object the force! Objection! Wait a second! You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma! I was, was being sarcastic! It's called sarcasm, you moron! <laughs> Regardless, I have a right to do as you suggested, and that actually is a real thing in court! This, this word is <laughs> Are you perhaps referencing an actual real case, Mr. Well, uh, actually yes! There was a case that happened in the past, and then there's also a case that will happen in the future! Uh, shall we bring that up now, then? Yes! Yeah, well, 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 Might as well before we bring the parrot out. Oh, Might no, as no, well. We'll, we'll do this quick. We'll do this. Go ahead, Jomo. Basically, audience, this sort of thing actually has happened in the past, but more recently, there was another case in 2014 where a parrot was actually the decisive witness used to find a mysterious murderer. Uh, in fact, here's so, the yeah, article. The cra they called Kumi crazy, but who's crazy now? <laughs> There's also the fact that this has happened not once but twice in history. So that's quite amazing. Thing I've ever heard. 
Von Karma's prepared everyone, except the parrot. She's my last chance. At least. And she knows some vital so. information, as we've heard. But yes, audience. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. For those who have not played this game, if you haven't guessed already, just, this is obviously one of the crowning imagine. moments of this game. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So we have my crowning moment. That's quite a bird. It was. Please tell us your name. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine uh, she going back home later to his <laughs> wife? Honey, you wouldn't be. Uh, Josh, that's not happening. <laughs> the witness is ignoring me. The fact that the judge is taking this seriously it must hurt to be thing. ignored by a bird. What do you mean? My wife never ignores me. Oh, yeah. Um, very well. <laughs> Who is your owner? Please, uh... Testify for us. Well, from all the <laughs> amount of grandchildren you apparently have, I find it impossible she's able to ignore you. Uh. <laughs> and that's the most <laughs> concise testimony. To be oh, fair, yeah. that, 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 there's, there's nothing to uh, <laughs> contradict from that. So to be the most concise testimony we've had so far. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Begin your cross-examination. <laughs> right. Uh, am I the only one who's sane here? Actually, Von Kava, I'm on Honestly, your side. yeah, despite being being a douche, honestly, Von Kava is the one who's just problem with his I, I don't know. What do we do, Maya? You, I don't know. You Phoenix, guys know how to talk to her, you know. Phoenix, you were the one who had this idea. You go through with it. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not touching. Okay, it. here goes. Hold it. <clears throat> I'm not touching this one with a ten foot pole. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. <laughs> I want you to testify. <laughs> Maya, you talk to her. <laughs> right. Uh, what do I say? Remember, two days ago. Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? Ah. Don't forget our sex! Ah. Aha! If I can get Polly to say that here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Of course. It's not like she could have heard that from the news or something. Hello? 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 Ah. It, 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 that's not what you're supposed to say. Uh oh. Forgot. Something we forgot. Say her name first. Uh oh, it's not working, Nick. She won't say it. Uh, this is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? <laughs> you're wasting my time. Something the matter, Mr. Wright. Oh no, he didn't. Wait. Don't tell me Von Karma expected this. What is he, well, Batman? It is, well, well, it is as a turning, so... He couldn't have trained the parrot, could he? Could he, he is have, quite diabolical. Did he train her not to respond when we asked if we'd forgotten anything? Oh. Oh, you... Truly a diabolical genius. You conniving scumbag. Hold it! <laughs> Witness, you're here to speak. You must speak to me. Uh, frankly, I can't believe that you're speaking to the parrot. I know. She's more fun company than you are. Well, I guess you should try to get some information out of her. Uh, because it worked so well last time. Easier said than well, done. Well, do you have any better ideas? Holly, what comes after the number five? Come on. Work with me. Think. Present the badge. I got Present. it. Present the badge. That won't do us any good now. Witness. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Oh. I thought we yeah. went for this. This I time, know. different plan of attack. Go for something more generic. Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that save. Hmm, better first make sure that all any evidence might correlate. Uh, case summary, victim data, and uh, suspect data. Alright, here it goes. Huh? The safe? 
Why? Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly, when was the number of the safe in the shack? One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll admit, for all its faults, I really like how the movie actually handled the parrot scene. Yeah, I, I think um, the general consensus is that, that that was one of the best scenes in the movie. Yeah. Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Actually, it does! <laughs> That's why I had her say it! And um, in the movie, I believe they used a real parrot, too. Uh, yes, they did. Yeah. How can the number of twelve safe tell us who the caretaker is? You're right, Jerry, they did use a real parrot. Show us your proof. What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity? Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! The DL6 case file? What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright? Where in this file is something related to that safe number? It's on the case summary page! The case summary? Specifically the date on which the DL6 incident occurred. Yes, yeah, of all, course. All, because all that all could not be a coincidence, right? Uh, don't this, worry, yeah, do it, but, maybe a coincidence, but honestly... Why, that's today's I, date, 15 I, years ago. I'm surprised Von Karma didn't try to, you know... He's going to. Ah! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. Well, <laughs> you know, that could be a coincidence. They're going to address that, Pedro. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. Well, thank you, Judge. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. Objection! Objection! Bah! This is not tangible proof. I set my ATM card's number to 00001 because I'm number one! Uh, thank you, Mr. Volcar. I'll just take your card now. Click my this right has down. For dates. Nothing! Actually, Let's what am I saying? I don't even need to write that body. down. Money. <laughs> ah, sure. Ah, the, ah, joke's on you, because immediately after this, I'm going to change it. Hello, this is what's a week for this case after. Haha, joke's on you! I have a mobile app that allows me to make remote deposits. Nick, we're getting closer. One more. We can just get one more piece of evidence. Right, but what? So yeah, to be fair, the court does address the fact that it's Joba, a coincidence. This is Ace Attorney. This is Ace Attorney 2015. There's no such thing as mobile apps. Actually, it's Ace Attorney 2016, and they, well, they apparently do have some apps. I thought this case took place. I thought this so, took place in 2015. No, so let me get this straight, So let me get this straight, Joe. They have mobile apps, but they still use VHS tapes. Yep. It's a madman world, ain't it? Fucked up than I imagined. Okay, 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 okay. Oh wait, hold on. Here's the other piece we need. Maybe movies aren't a huge right. thing in this universe. Alright. Ah. Mr. Wright, I think you've established that this parrot is named Polly. The technology yeah. in this universe is as inconsistent as in Final Fantasy VIII. Does this have anything to do with the road of identity? Yes, it does. Mm. Huh. Fascinating. You claim that the parrot's name will prove our owner's identity? Oh, you have no idea. Well, you probably do have an idea. Then show us this proof. Nick, don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Yeah, uh, Listen, I know, right? We're not here to answer the question. He should have been told that a long time caretaker. ago, I think. We're here to prove that he is Yanayoki. And I've got just the way. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your Honor? Actually, for once, he's not bluffing. He has exactly what he needs. The proof that the proof that the parrot's name reveals the character's identity is... Take that! The deal six case file? Oh, Jackson. That's quite a large file you have there. Ooh. Which page is this proof on? Show us, or stop wasting our time. Well, Mr. Wright, please show us the page. <laughs> Where in this file is the information connected to this parrot's name? Here it goes. Suspect data? <laughs> I love how you're doing it in time with the music. Yep. It's on the suspect data page. Question mark? This page is all the information about Yanni Yogi. Hey, did you just rip off the page from the file? 
right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide. Actually, no, uh, Jovan. <laughs> Files like these are, are basically just a huge collection of papers in a clipboard. Uh, so that would be that would be addressed to me, not Jova, but yes, yeah, sure, sorry, 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 sorry. Polly. Exactly, Your Honor. He remembered the name of his fiance who committed suicide. Mm, that's right. That is a little after. bit stretchy. That, that's pa stretchy. Pa pa Polly, Polly's a very common parrot name. I don't know. I, st I, I guess that's possible. It's Objection. actually it's like the stereotypical name. Hold on. Hold on. Name. Yeah. This line. Yeah, I, I'm with Karma here. My granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? <laughs> now I'm oh, picturing. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, She's only seven years old. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Brad, 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 can't have a daughter. Have That's enough. <laughs> I think we've reached the conclusion. I mean, she's though. incredibly young. Actually, I'm, it's assumed he has another yeah. daughter. Yeah, it's assumed he has an. Uh, uh, is it, it's assumed there's another car. Still, the elephant okay. in the room. Anywho, uh, here we go. Girls, this is like, at the same time. Seems more like a pattern to me. Like the judge just said. Your Honor, we have a pedophile in here. Ah! I'm the caretaker of the boat shop. But yeah, it's like uh... immediately. You know, the elephant in the room lingers. You have to think that some, someday, somewhere, a woman consensually, consensually had this... sex. Look, wait, get the talk. We'd rather not think about that. Oh, Jackson. So yeah. Wait. The witness. He doesn't remember. Uh... No, it's okay, Uncle. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> ah. I've accomplished what I wanted to do. I'm done. He is oh. Yami Yugi's cousin. He can change personas. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he looks tall. And he's grown a little bit. This is the real Yogi, I think. Finally. He's been acting for people to hide his true identity. But now that I've got him acting for 15 years. <laughs> Well, let me ask you again. See, one coincidence is one thing, but two coincidences Please involving that parent. Please state your name for the court. Yeah. My name is Yanni Yogi. Fifteen years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. And watched my loved one die. Order! Order! Yanni Yogi! So what was it? So was it you who killed Robert Hammond? I tried to frame Miles Edgeworth for his death. No point in denying it now. No not. Yes, it was me. I did it. It's me, Austin. <laughs> anyway, they put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond. He said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent. Get me off the hook. So, I pretended to have brain damage. I was innocent, really, but he didn't believe me. We won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiance, my, my social standing. Then, this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful <coughs> detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care what sent it. I thought this was my chance after 15 years. This was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and my. I have no regrets. Well, no regrets. he got Robert Hammond good. But wait a moment! <laughs> revenge against Miles Edgeworth? Uh. What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Ugh. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, 
I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Oh, I guess that's some good note for him to go out on. Well, Karma, where is Mr. Yogi? On her arrest, Your Honor. I thought a room for her in his confession. It was, shall we say, perfect. Then the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, is. innocent. In this case, at least. Could this be it? Very well. Are we finally going to defeat the undefeated? Will the defendant please take the step and... Oh my, here we go. There are a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you are clear the suspicion for this particular case. You'll see those in the DLC for upcoming or this game. So I'd like to pass yes. judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hammond. Any please objections? Please buy the season that, sir. I don't believe it. Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? He's too busy tearing his arm arm apart. Very well. Yeah. This court <laughs> finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Come He's gonna on. say it now. Not guilty. Woohoo! We did it! Finally! Woo! That is all. The court is adjourned. Okay, audience, we'll see um, you in the check. next part, then. Uh -huh. well, we'll oh, wow. enjoy our really? victory. Whoa, wait, really, really, that's it. <coughs> yeah, well, that's well, it. Well, 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 that's his attorney. Where do you think of the game? Oh, <laughs> remember, game. Pedro, we have awesome. to... Remember, Pedro, we first have to commentate on the credits, and then we'll talk about our final thoughts. All right, then. All right. See you then, everybody. See ya. See ya. See ya.